in this video i explain about capillarity so first we understand the introduction of capillarity means definition of capillarity then we study few of the application of capillarity then after we derive this equation of h means expression of capillary rise and expression for capillary fall so first we study the introduction or definition of capillarity capillarity is defined as a phenomena of rise or fall of liquid surface in a small tube relative to the adjacent general level of liquid when tube is hold vertically in the liquid now here you see this diagram this is one container in the container the water is filled and the small tube is hold vertically in a water now what is meaning of small tube small tube means diameter of the tube is 6 mm or less than 6 mm means it is called as the capillary tubes means capillarity phenomena is applicable only on a small tube which have diameter is 6 mm or less than 6 mm this capillary tube is open from the both the ends and the one end is insert in a liquid and this liquid may be rise in a capillary tubes or it may be fall in a capillary tube the rise of liquid surface is known as capillarity rise while the fall of liquid surface is known as capillarity depression or fall so it, this diagram is related to capillarity rise this diagram is related to the capillarity fall or depressions so capillarity rise is happen in water and in a mercury that is a capillarity fall is happen it is expressed in a term of centimeter or mm of liquid so generally the height is measured in mm or in centimeters so capillarity is also expressed in a centimeter or mm of liquid it value depend upon specific weight of the liquid means which liquid we use suppose we use the water mercury or some other liquids so all the liquid have different specific weights so capillarity is depend on the specific weight of the liquids diameter of the tube and the surface tensions of the liquid if the diameter of the tube is increase then the capillarity is reduced that's why we need to use the tube which have diameter 6 mm or less than 6 mm so when we derive this expression means derive this equation of h at that time we can understand how capillarity is depend on these three factors now application of capillarity in a daily life so water absorb by roots of tree it is due to the capillarity actions that is second application is related to the oil lamp so oil absorbs by the wick it is also due to the capillarity water absorb or liquid is absorb by the sponge the ink pen is also work on a base of the capillarity actions and the water absorb by the towel it is also due to the capillarity now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the word video related to fluid mechanics or other subject of mechanical engineering for the fluid mechanics various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car for more subject i request to visit the playlist so first we derive expression for capillarity rise for that we can consider the glass tube of small diameter d open at both the ends so this is the liquid level this is a glass tube and its both the end are open and is inserted in a liquid so as a liquid here we use the water the liquid will rise in a tube about the level of liquid so this is the level of liquids and in the tubes the level of liquid is rise to this level so let h is height of the liquid in the tube so this is the tube and in the tubes the level of liquid is h under state of equilibrium under the state of equilibrium means everything is balanced due to the equilibrium okay so here first force is the weight of liquid of height h so this liquid which have height h okay it's have certain weight and due to weight they are try to going in downward direction but 
this weight is balanced by the force at the surface of the liquid in the tube means in a tube this is a surface of the liquid and on the li surface of the liquid some force is acting and this force is the surface tension and this surface tension is balance this weight of the liquid but the force at the surface of the liquid in the tube is due to the surface tension and surface tension is denoted by the sigma so let sigma is the surface tension of the liquid so it is act on the surface of the liquid theta is the angle of contact between the liquid and glass tube so this is the glass tube this is the liquid means when we draw the tangent of this liquid surface so here we get this angle theta okay so this side have also same angle so we can mention here this theta so first we write down the equation of weight of liquid of height h in the tubes so what is this weight of this liquid so it is the volume into rho into g so volume is area of tube into h so what is the area so this tube is the circular from the top we can see it is a circular so area is the pi by 4 d square height is the h into density into gravitational force so this is our equation number 1 and this rho is the density of liquid second vertical component of the surface tensile force okay so vertical component so here we can see this is the sigma it is the inclined component okay so here we make the one triangle okay on this triangle this is the angle theta this side is the sigma so when this any component is at the angle we can divide in a two component one is called vertical so this is vertical component this is horizontal components so finding out this horizontal or vertical component we need to use the equation of the cos theta and sin theta okay so this is the opposite side so this side is the sigma into sin theta this is the adjacent so it is sigma into cos theta so what is the vertical component of the surface tension sigma so vertical component is the sigma cos theta so suppose we consider this is the water in a tube okay and this vertical force is acting so this vertical force is the sigma into cos theta and the horizontal force is also acting on this surface of this liquid so it is a sigma sin theta but horizontal force is equal and opposite in direction so they are the zero because this is a center from the center the sigma sin theta is acting on this side it is acting on this side it is acting on this side and it is acting on these sides okay so value is same and they are equal and opposite so sigma sin theta value is the zero and here we find out this vertical components okay so sigma is acting on the circumference of the liquid so what is circumference of the liquid circumference of the liquid is pi into d and this vertical force is the sigma cos theta so this is the second equations and earlier in the definition we mentioned that it is in equilibrium then and then the water level is rise or it may be steady at a in a tube so we can equilibrium this equation number 1 and 2 so it is pi by 4 d square h into rho into g is equal to sigma pi d cos theta so h is equal to means h is present in a left side so other component is supplied on the right side so this is pi by 4 d square into rho into g now the few components are cancelled that is a pi is cancelled here this d is cancelled 4 is supplied in upper side so in upper side the portion is 4 sigma cos theta and in a downside that is a rho g d okay so earlier what we study in a introduction we study that the capillarity rise is depend on a three factor that is the specific weight so specific weight means the one upon rho is called as the specific weight then second point it is depend on this diameter okay and third it is depend on the surface tension so if the surface tension is increased then capillarity in the tube is increased because here surface tension is acting in upper directions and h is directly proportional to surface tension so value of surface tension is increased and the h is increased suppose the diameter is increased so diameter in a lower portion so if the diameter is increased then the rise in the tube is decrease and diameter of the tube is decrease then the h is increase that we understand from this equation the value of theta between the water and the clean glass tube is approximately equal to zero hence the cos theta is equal to 
unity. The rise of water is given by 4 sigma rho g d. When we consider the value of cos theta is 0, so value of cos 0 is the 1. Okay, so equation is remains 4 sigma rho g d. And the value of cos up to the 90 degrees have the positive value. Okay, suppose the here the angle is greater than 90, then answer is coming in minus because the cos 90 have a zero value after the above the cos 90, the value is going in a minus, so it is called as the capillarity depression or a capillarity fall. Now, sec next is the expression for capillary fall. If the glass tube is deep in a mercury, in a rise, we consider liquid is the water. For capillarity fall or depression, we consider the liquid is mercury. So, here in a container, we have a mercury and this level of mercury in the tube will be lower than the general level of the outside liquid as shown in a figure. So, this is the general levels and we insert the tube in a mercury. The level of mercury in a tube is going down. So, it is called as the capillarity fall or capillarity depressions. So, here we see this is the H. So, it is the height of depression in a tube or height of fall in a tube. Then in equilibrium, two forces are acting on a mercury inside the tube. First one is the surface tension acting in a downward direction and is equal to sigma into pi d into cos theta. Earlier it is acting in upward direction, now here it is working in downward direction, means it is also vertical but in downwards. So here the same equation we can use as the last case that is the sigma into pi in pi d into cos theta. Second force is due to the hydrostatic force acting upward and is equal to intensity of the pressure of the depth edge into area. So, here we see in this diagram certain pressure is acting. So, certain pressure is acting at the depth edge into this area. So, it is the call as the hydrostatic force. So, pressure is denoted by the P at the height edge and area is the pi by 4 d square. And the pressure is equal to rho g h and area is as it is that is pi by 4 d squares. Now we equating these two forces. This is equation number one. This is equation number two. And we make this equation of the edge. So edge is equal to. So here the edge is in this right side. Okay. So this parameter is supplied on this left side. There is sigma into pi d into cos theta divided by rho g into pi by four into d square. Okay. The same parameter is cancelled. Suppose we can cancel here. This pi is cancelled. 1d is cancelled, 4 is going this side, so it is in multiplication. So, equation we get it is a 4 sigma cos theta upon rho g d. But here, this angle of contact is greater than 90, that's why we get the answer in h is in the negative. In last case, means in capillarity rise, the angle is less than 90, so we get this positive answers. Here, we get this negative answers. So, here we can understand the what is capillarity what are its real life applications and also understand this equation of h and how the capillarity is depend on the how many factors. The value of theta for mercury and the glass tube is the 128 degree. So, thank you for watching this video. If you learn something then like the video and don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to mechanical engineering.